Good morning friends. Today we will learn about the congenital anomalies of cornea. So in cornea there is a congenital diseases like first megalocornea megalocornea second is microcornea third is planocornea or congenital clouding of cornea so we will discuss one by one in detail okay the first one is megalocornea megalocornea as we know the horizontal horizontal diameter of cornea is about in adult 11.7 mm ठीक है in adult 11.7 mm but in in child but at the at the time of birth at the time of birth the horizontal diameter of cornea is about 10 mm so The, pe uh, the patient is uh, the child is attained. Your patient is attained. Uh, this uh, 10 mm to 11.7 fm mm by the age of two years. Okay. So when uh, so in this condition, megalocornea, the patient is attained more than 11.7 mm is is equal um, um, equal to 13 mm or greater than 13 mm. So this type of condition we call it. Megalo cornea. So uh, the patient, the patient cornea greater than or is equal to thirteen mm or greater. We call it megalo cornea. Okay, but in this condition, cornea is Large, but normal. Normal with normal thickness, normal thickness or vision. This type of condition is not also progressive. Not progressive. Not progressive means this condition is not increase uh, by age. Okay, so ah, uh, it is associated with first is Marfan syndrome, Marfan syndrome. Generally, um, ah, uh, we see ah uh, myelocornea in case of Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome ah uh, is a condition in which the Patient height and the uh, fingers of the the patient is large. So this type of patient we call this Marfan syndrome. So in this type of patient we see uh, megalocornea. Second is Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a defect of chromosomes. Chromosomes defect in patient. The in this type of uh, patient, my patient is mentally retarded, and so many problems we see in this. Uh, and uh, one also included megalocornea. So megalocornea can be seen uh, in this type of patient in Down syndrome. Okay. So our uh, next disease is microcornea. Microcornea. Now, 
as we know adult horizontal diameter is horizontal diameter of cornea is 11.7 mm but at the time of birth but at the time of birth at the time of birth it is about uh, 10 mm uh, it is about 10 mm so in, in so in case of megalocornea the cornea is not attained uh, 11.7 mm by the age of two years so we call it microcornea so at so at the time of at the time of adult in the cornea size is same is same as is same as 10 mm less than 10 mm so in microcornea we will discuss two diseases first is two conditions first is nanothalamus first is nanothalamus second is microphthalmus first is nanothalmus second one is nan uh, microphthalmus in nanothalmus the call the whole uh, eyeball is small but it is normal so we uh, we say uh, normal small eyeball small eye but in microcornea the whole cornea is small but it is abnormal so abnormal small eyeball okay so nine color microphthalmus so next one is micro uh, cornea plana third one is cornea plana Uh, cornea plana is very rare. It is very rare anomaly. So uh, in cornea plana, as per the name, uh, we think it is like like this, this flatter, flatter of cornea. So uh, it is bilateral. So when when it is uh, present with birth, so it is uh, bilateral. So, uh, in which bilaterally cornea is compared 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 to flatter than normal patient. So, comparatively comparatively flatter since birth since birth. So, uh, as you know, when the uh, when the cornea is uh, flat so it create a power it create a power that power is known as estimated power so result estimate is estimate is refractive error estimating refractive error okay Generally, uh, it is associated with, associated with microcornea. Uh, when the cornea is uh, micro, means uh, less than 10 mm, so it, it is flatter from red sides. Uh, when adult adult uh, size is 11.7 mm, but the no uh, cornea plana is 10 mm. So uh, this decrease decreasement of cornea create a uh, cornea flatter as a horizontal side so it is associate it is also it is also associated with associated with microcornea micro cornea okay so next one is 
clouding of cornea. Conjectures. Cloudy. Cornea. As per the name, congenital means present since birth. Cloudy means opacity. Cornea means cornea. So uh, the disease which is um, the disease or opacity, yeah, is cloudiness. Cloudy of the cornea. Cornea, which is present since birth, which is present since birth, we called it. We called it congenital cloudy cornea. Okay, so uh, it is included. It is included uh, some diseases following this is uh, some so this is like first one is sclerocornea 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 in, uh, in congenital anomaly in which the uh, part of part of wall of the cornea require Characteristics of sclera means we say this is cornea. Okay, this one make it right. This is bulbar conjunctiva. So this bulbar conjunctiva is cover the cornea. Okay, so the whole so this cornea, the whole cornea is acquire the characteristics of cornea. So this condition is known as sclero cornea. Second one is Tears in decement membrane. This membrane. As per the name, decement membrane is a homogeneous layer, okay? Made of a glycogen protein. Glycogen protein. Then there is any uh, there is any folds. Yeah, fit tears which is seen in descendants membrane it uh, create cloudiness of the cornea so tears in descendants membrane cause cloudy cornea also generally uh, congenital glaucoma congenital glaucoma creates ulcer or entropion entropion which is present since birth entropion which is present since birth since birth it creates ulcer fourth one is metabolic condition metabolic condition so a uh, metabolic condition is generally uh, maintained by the two layers generally maintained by the two layer endothelium layer endothelium layer or epithelium layer when the uh, endothelium uh, layer and the epithelium uh, layer is failure to work so it create metabolic condition and the cloudy of the cornea this one is posterior corneal defect. <coughs> Any defect which is present in endothelium. Endothelium. Any defect which is uh, create a uh, defect in endothelium since birth. So it creates cloudy of the cornea. Endothelium dystrophy. Endothelium. Dystrophy. 
distributed uh, death of cell so endothelial dystrophy uh, some diseases uh, included like Hughes endothelial dystrophy so in this disease a cloudy cornea is there second is phd okay so uh, we will uh, discuss in detail in further videos or to this uh, to this diseases second is uh, last one is dermoid dermoid is a uh, uh, cyst that is present to the intersection of cornea and sclera like like that in which hair is also seen in some cases so uh, dermoid dermoid is cyst that is present uh, at the intersection and the intersection of the cornea and the sclera okay so to today we will learn about the convital diseases of the cornea the first one is megalocornea when the megalocornea when the patient uh, the horizontal diameter is greater than 10, uh, 13 mm or is equal to 30 mm it is called as megalocornea second uh, one is microcornea uh, in microcornea patients uh, horizontal diameter is less than 10 mm or equal to 10 mm it is called microcornea and cornea plana when the cornea is flatter as compared to the normal so the, the disease called as cornea plana and cloudy cornea cloudy cornea when the uh, cloudiness is present since birth in the cornea so we call this Convective cloudy of the cornea, in which included sclerocornea, tears in descending membrane, ulcer, metabolic condition, posterior endothelial dystrophy, and, and dermoids. So, uh, next lecture is on inflammation diseases of cornea. Thank you.